Hello, my Scorpios. This is your X reading for the 17th through the 23rd for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome. Please hit the like button and share the video. And subscribe. Forgot about that one. All right, guys. Let's see what type of a relationship you guys had. What type of relationship did my Scorpios have? What type of relationship that wanted to flip? Hmm. I feel like you guys just, um, there wasn't a lot of emotion. Maybe there was a lot of um, sexual energy. Maybe it was, um, it was explosive sometimes. Maybe, um, you know, you guys were trying to be a little less emotional. Um, approach the situation from a more intellectual standpoint try to reason you know a lot in the connection maybe you know not showing a lot of emotion or even that you cared you know that you weren't affected probably Aquarius energy here and Aries energy okay other than that I think you guys felt like it was pretty good okay it was it was something that you know brought you some happiness i think you guys enjoyed each other let's see how you view the relationship mm, you were attracted to this person i think you guys probably had what you considered was great sex you were very attracted to them i think there was a lot of conflict between the two though the two of you let's see how they viewed the relationship very much the same way they were very passionate about you very passionate about you guys I think at a certain point though it was a choice that they had to make between um, you know do they want a relationship that is based primarily on sex with a lack of emotion or did they want something else for themselves here but this is a hot relationship <laughs> I do feel uh, sexually charged let's see what your current situation is Ooh. I think you have a level of obsession with this person. Hmm, you're still very attached to them. Very sexually attracted to them, like extremely, okay? Let's see what their current situation is. I think they're trying to move on past this. Um, they're trying to do some new things. They're in the planning stages, but I think they want something different. I think this person wants um, a more grounded situation, less physical, less less sexual, you know, um, maybe an equal, an equal uh, pot of, you know, sexuality, like, you know, sensualness, emotion, support, you know, they want like this melting pot of things, I feel. Let's see what how you perceive your ex. Hot. Everything's fire. <laughs> Everything's fire here. Um, strong Aries. Maybe Scorpio energy here. Um, yeah. But you are Scorpio. So it may be another Scorpio like yourself. Um, maybe Aquarius or Gemini energy present. Okay earth sign earth energy let's see how they perceived you mm. they felt like you <sighs> hmm. i think they felt like you didn't quite match them because you know they're coming as a queen and you as a knight but they felt like you know, you offered a lot to them, that you brought a lot to the table emotionally. So what I'm getting from this is that to, since this is the Knight of Cups, this is the only emotion that's here, that maybe they feel like you kind of tricked them into thinking that you were emotionally available when you weren't, that you were more active than you actually 
are. I get the feeling that they feel like tricked, okay? Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. I think you definitely want to. I think you want to be there for this person. Um, I don't think that you really are the way that they are viewing you. I think you are emotionally stable. I think that you do offer emotions. Maybe you guys, if this was in the you know the initial stages, that you guys didn't want to come across as <clears throat> as um, you know all into this person. That you know you wanted to come across like you know what I could care less, and I think it probably. Kind of backfired is what I'm getting here. But I feel like you really do want to be with this person. You want to be like in a committed relationship with this person. It's not just a sexual thing for you. It's not. I don't feel it. Let's see how they feel about getting back together. Hmm. I think they're trying to move on, but you know, I just get this feeling though that that if you came with um, just being yourself, um, maybe talk to this person, maybe offer some emotion, maybe act like you know you were affected by the breakup. That um, I feel like you guys could move on together. I feel like you can leave, you know, some of these issues behind because I feel you guys are very, my Scorpio friends, you're very attached to this person. I mean, like extremely attached to this person, I feel. Okay. So let's see how you can help this situation along. I feel like you guys need to stop feeling like there's nothing you can do. Because I get your feeling like there's absolutely nothing you can do. When I sense that there is something that you can do, I feel like you guys probably could speak your peace. Speak your truth. Okay? If at some point during this connection, you guys feel like you were out of character or you felt like you held back something, um, then that's probably what you need to put forth. And put forward okay be yourself stop worrying because you are like entrapping yourself in your own mental prison this is this is your thoughts this is you thinking that she's not going to take me seriously she's not going to accept me or he's not going to take me seriously or accept me but I think there is definitely a chance here if that's what you're thinking about, okay? Let's see what they can do. I think they can be willing to listen, but I do think that this person also has some things that they could work on here. This is becoming self-aware, okay? This is becoming enlightened that maybe that everything that you know everything that they do is not necessarily right either may not be the best way either and so i think because this is a card of self and i think once they do that like they can open themselves up to real happiness here um we have aquarius gemini energy here could be libra as well as you guys showed up in their reading okay so um, Leo's here, Aries here, Gemini, like I said, um, yeah, maybe Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but does not have to be those signs, just the energy that's present, okay guys? But yeah, I think they need to look at themselves as well, as well and just kind of like do a self-evaluation that, you know, maybe there's some things that I need to work on as well or things that I can change. All right, let's see what the potential outcome is here. Hmm. Very Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio energy. All right, so the outcome is that you guys will like 
still be confused. You don't really know what it, you know what you want. I think you just don't know how to get it. You don't know how to go about like getting this person's attention because I think that you're you're thinking way too much about this. You're thinking way too much. Okay? And I think there's a need for you guys to act um and and Talk, communicate, communicate what it is that you really want, what you will really feel, how you really feel here. And I think this person is just going to be left reminiscing about things that happened in the past. Um, I just don't know if they're good or bad. This person may have second thoughts about, you know, just completely severing ties. They may. I don't know but they're definitely thinking about um, this relationship I feel things that have happened reminiscing I think they'll be left reminiscing um, if they do not you know take a look at themselves possibly here and see exactly what they can do as well to you know fix this I don't even know if they want to but I mean there's a possibility if you guys work together, for sure. 